Today we're in Skopje, North Macedonia. We flew in here last night. We have no plan at all. We rented a car for two weeks and we're gonna let Chad GPT decide where we're gonna drive to every single day. I feel like this is a really bad idea. It's a bad idea, right? Probably, but we're in it now. All right, I'm gonna type it in right now. Where should we drive to from Skopje, North Macedonia? It says we should go to Thessaloniki, Greece. All right, guess we're going to Greece. Only Take the two. exit to merge onto A4. And keep left. A bet. Take the exit to head towards Greece. <laughs> <laughs> it's only uh, two and a half hours away. Let's go. We're about to cross our first international border. Do we give him a passport? Like, what do we do? Uh, Thessaloniki. Thank you. Well, that was insanely easy. Look at that. I guess we followed this. We just crossed our first international border. There's a casino right there. And then that's the border. We had a bad night in Thessaloniki. Do not go there. So we went out to this bar and we're having a good time. I go to the bathroom. These guys come up to me and they're like, you broke the toilet, you ripped it off the wall, destroyed the bathroom, you owe us money. And I'm like, I didn't do that. And next thing I know, they tackle me down to the ground. Six guys were on top of me and they held me by my throat and they're just beating me in the face. <clears throat> Look what they did to the goods. Not good. My eye busted, my ears are muffled. I think they're filled with blood. They cut my face open here. I got marks here, my throat hurts bad. I don't know if my wrist is broken, but it hurts pretty bad. Foot hurts, everything hurts. I feel like I got hit by a truck. <clears throat> we gotta get out of here. So after I ran away, after they were done beating me, I'm running down the street trying to get help from people. Two guys come up and they grab me and they put me in the back seat of this car and take off with me. I knew something was up, I'm paranoid. So the second we stopped, I unlocked the car door and just took off running. I was on like a journey for like two hours without my phone. They stole that. I don't know where I'm staying. It was just bad news. I run into Kyle at like 4 a.m. Saves me, gets me back to the room. We had to get out of Greece. Day three, we are currently in North Macedonia and we're about to cross the border into Serbia. This is the third country of the trip. We're only three days in. There we go, we got the Macedonian flag and I then the that's Serbian, Serbian flag. flag. This is what you can expect at most land crossings when you're in the car. Probably not supposed to film here, you know, it's like technically you're going through customs, but 100 bikes and I want to do this. Hello. Officially in Serbia, and now we're headed to a hotel. That's the passport stamp. Let's go. All right, that was a lot easier, honestly, than I thought it would be, because everyone kind of made it up to be that Serbia would be harder to get into or whatever. We literally saw a news article that said tension at the Serbian border. Yeah. Don't was, go. There was no tension there. That was perfectly fine. In Serbia, we're going to treat ourselves. I'm going to try to recoup. Looks like you have eye makeup on. The presentation here is unmatched. It's the aesthetics. Oh my gosh. We got the donor kebab, french fries. I'm gonna put some tzatziki on it. Got two Cokes coming and a screaming baby. We finished up our dinner and we decided to come down and check out the spa. Cause this place had a spa and it was only $100 a night. Look at this. That's dumb. We decided to jump in the sauna for a minute. Absolutely hot in here. It's 78 degrees Celsius. I haven't converted it yet, but I don't know what that means, but it's hot. I don't know what that means, we don't know stupid. Well, that is it for our day here. We are headed tomorrow to Skopje, North Macedonia, and then into Kosovo. And from what we've been reading, there's a lot of uh, confrontation and conflict going on at the border of Kosovo and Serbia. We're here to find out what it's actually like. Come back tomorrow. We'll see what happens.